Morning peeps. So it's been about two weeks since I was last up at the plot and during that time we've had loads of rain which has been great for the veg and the flowers up here but it's also been really good for the weeds and as I'm looking at the plot right now it looks like a jungle so I really probably should have come up last week but I didn't. Laziness. But today I'm up here primarily just to pick the peas which are dying back um, the broad beans which look as though they're dying back as well and I might take the odd beetroot and I'll do the usual plot tour. Right come on let's get out there. It looks like the sky is full of weather so I'm going to make this tour pretty quick because I don't want to get caught in that. Here we go sunflower this year's first sunflower that's opened up smaller than last year's I'll give you there you go, that's for scale. Last year the flower head was at least, I would say, 12 inches across. It was a giant one. But I'm pretty happy with this guy. He's the first of the seven to say hello. As you can see, it looks like the peas are dying back now. Plants are starting to go this pale green. I need to pick as many of these as I can while I'm up here today and get them in the freezer. And while I'm at it, I'm going to pick as many broad beans as I can as well. They look like they're on their last legs. So look, there's a, still a couple of decent pods knocking around. It looks like the gooseberries have started to ripen up as well. A couple now I might leave them another week because I did try one earlier and it was still slightly sour. I've also noticed there's not as many on the bush this year. There was loads last year so I don't know why that should be. Who knows. Well, like I said, I knew there was some weather around and here it is. I'm just going to have to sit this out now. Well, it looks like I'm going to be dodging showers while I'm up here, so I just better get picking. It's not a bad sized beetroot. Uh, and another. Now this is my favourite time, being up at the allotment, picking the veg, seeing the results of your hard labour. It also helps uh, if, like me, you like broad beans. Well, that's a pretty decent bag of broad beans I've got there. I've already had two bags uh, from the plants on previous pickings. I haven't stripped these plants of all the broad beans. 
as uh, so what I'm going to do is save some of the seed and attempt to grow some next year from this year's seed. The trouble with some of these peas is I've left them just a bit too long so they've kind of lost their sweetness in some of the pods, not all of them. So it's always best to harvest your peas when they're young. Let's try and get some of these. Let's try and do it one handed. No, I'm going to have to put the camera down and get on with this. Here's a quick look at this top bed. You can see I haven't done much weeding, but the onions, they seem to be going well. In fact, very well. Uh, let's have a look at that one there. That's not a bad size. And here's the carrots. Let's have a poke around, see if we can see any carrots. Are there any shoulders coming on? Uh, there's a couple there. Yeah, they won't be far off now. These are Nantes or Nantes, so they're not a big variety of carrot, so they're not going to be monsters. Uh, there are the parsnips, which obviously I won't be touching until nearer Christmas time, so there'll still be stuff going on on the plot towards the end of the year. Spring onions, absolutely amazed at how well these have come on. I've never grown them so good ever. Beetroot seems to be more top than bottom on those. A couple of stray parsnips there. There's that second row of carrots that are just coming on. And then very quickly, the Brussels sprouts. I really need to release them from this cage or make the cage higher. Um, may have to do that in the next day or two but they look pretty good more flowers on my Sarpo Mira potatoes something strange has happened the first four rows that I'm showing you now are doing well and then I've got these three Rose at the end here, all Sarpo Mira, that just haven't kicked on, just haven't done as well as those over there. Um, so Sarpo Mira are supposed to be blight resistant. Is that blight? I don't know. Answers on a postcard to me, please, as to why these three rows of potatoes which are the same variety as that lot there, aren't doing as well. And a quick catch up on the leeks. If you check out, I think it was two videos ago when I planted these, they were tiny blades of grass, and now you can see they're starting to take. And while I'm here, let me just show you the calabrese. which is under this net to stop the pigeons from getting at it. Uh, looks like... Uh, can we see anything? No, not yet. Generally comes from that centre point there. But yeah, they're not far off. Now this is why owning an allotment for me is worth it. Look at that for a beetroot. Decent size. Decent bag of raw beans. The peas. I've taken a couple of bags from the uh, plants already. And yeah, so I've still got more veg to come. 
the potatoes, the onions, the carrots, the Brussels sprouts in the winter, uh, the calabrese, the leeks. So, you know, if you put the hard work in at the start of the year, you eventually, I know it seems a long road sometimes, you eventually start to see the, uh, the benefits. Okay, that was a quick whip around the plot, picking the peas, the beans and the beetroot, as you saw. Uh, the weather doesn't look too clever at the moment, so I'm going to sign off now. Uh, thank you for watching, if you have, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.